how to make this modern building in Blender. It's fully procedural and very customizable. You can edit the floor plane and the building will adapt. You can also change the number of floors and stuff. Let's make it! First, you need to download Buildify. I link you this Gumroad page in the description. You can just enter zero dollars and get it for free, but I'd recommend donating Pavel Olivia a few bucks because he has really done great work here. Once you downloaded the file, it should look like this. You can see that this is already a pretty nice building, but we want a modern skyscraper and also the materials look a bit flat, so we need to make a few changes. Select the building and copy it in a new Blender file. Then deselect everything and delete just the building. Shift A, add another plane and scale it up in edit mode. Then go into the modifiers tab and add a geometry nodes modifier. Set it to this building thing and you have a building. Change the numbers of floors to around 35. Yeah, maybe change the size here a little bit. Yeah. Remember doing that in edit mode. If you scale it in object mode, you need to apply the scale. So the first thing we can do is change that yellow material. Go into the shader editor, find a middle floor wall in the outliner and search for that proxy matte yellow material. Rename it, I'm gonna name it wall material and we are going to change that. Add a mix color node, plug it into the base color. The first color has to be a very white color and the second a more grayish color. For the factor, plug in a noise texture and let's look, uh, scale it up a lot, increase the detail and make it very rough just to add a bit more detail. That's nice. Next thing you see, those windows don't look modern at all. So yeah, we're gonna delete them. Find the middle floor wall, um, numpad period to zoom in on it and delete all the other ones except the white one. Now you can see our building is white, but we don't want that. So let's create some modern windows. Duplicate that white wall, tap into edit mode and add a loop cut in the middle. Tap I twice to insert the faces individually and extrude them in a bit. Next, apply that proxy material general reflective for the windows uh, and rename it to window. I don't like this material so we are going to change it. Delete the principal BSDF and add a mix shader node. The first shader is going to be a glossy BSDF and the second a transparent BSDF. Um, set them both to a grayish color, set the roughness of the glossy BSDF to a very low value and play around with the factor a bit so that, that it looks nice to you. Now you can see we have randomly distributed windows on our tower. But uh, we need a bit more variation so let's duplicate the white wall again and this time I think I'm gonna create one big window. Insert it, extrude it in, and apply that window material. Now you can see we have a bit more variation and that's already looking pretty good. But I want a little bit more variation. So duplicate it once again slash on the number to isolate it, go into edit mode and now add a cylinder. 70 vertices should be fine. Now position the cylinder like this and C to get this brush selection tool, select the back faces, press X to delete them. Also hover over the blank wall object and press L to select the linked vertices and delete them. Now add two horizontal loop cuts and scale them like this. Alt click to select the string of faces and apply the window material. Shade it smooth and it's looking quite futuristic. 
let's see. Yeah. So in the geometry notes editor, we can change the seat of the middle floor walls to get a different result. Um, that's not looking good. Hmm. Maybe that. Yeah, for the sake for the sake of this tutorial, let's just go with this. You may have noticed these war details. Um, I don't think that they fit that well into that style of building, so just delete them. Delete, delete, delete. So the next thing is to change out these middle floor pillars to something more modern and futuristic. First, delete these two versions of the pillar. Then isolate the existing pillar with the slash key on the numpad. Go into edit mode, add a cube, and position it so that it is kind of in the same position like the original pillar. Rotate it 45 degrees on the z-axis. Scale it on the z-axis. Ctrl I to invert the selection and delete the original pillar. Now you have this weird shading issue. Um, that's because of this strange modifier here. Just delete it. Okay, so to make a nice futuristic pillar, um, add a few loop cuts. Press C for the selection brush and select these faces. Insert them and extrude them inwards like this. Create a new material, I'll name it Blue Glow and change the color to blue and turn up the emission strength. Yeah, that's looking all right. Um, we can ignore that little issue in the back. Let's check the position. Oh yeah, it is not right. We need to rotate it on the Z-axis 180 degrees. Um, and apply the rotation, otherwise it won't show in the building. Yeah, looking nice. We can take that. So the next thing is the roof. Uh, first, you'll notice these um, kind of Z fighting uh, or Z fighting things on the rooftop. Just fix it by going into the geometry nodes and increasing the height offset. Eevee has a little issue with that. Uh, so if you go further away, they are going to show again, but cycles will render that correctly. You might notice that the rooftop material is, yeah, really bad. It's just a color. So we look it up in the geometry nodes. Um, it's the proxy material roof. So we need to change that. For that, let's use JS placement. That is a free software you can download. I'll put a link in the description. You can create displacement materials with that. Take the classic one and click to generate it. I'll choose the gnarly preset. That looks good. I'll save the height. Then you can press toggle colorizer and I'll choose that black color and save that color. I had a few issues with the format uh, JS placement was putting out, so I had to convert it to JPEGs. I don't know if that is because of the new Blender versions. Plug the height map into the displacement and plug the color into the color. I like to add a brightness and contrast, reduce the contrast a bit and also the brightness. That looks good and immediately you can see it's much more detailed. But we have this ugly trim thing here, so we definitely need to change that. First, there are three trim pillars. Just delete them. <laughs> I don't know, we don't need them. And then go to that object named trim. Period key on the numpad and slash to isolate it. Go into edit mode and once again replace it with a cube. Position it so that it has about the same dimensions like the trim object. Press Ctrl I to invert the selection and delete the original trim. What I like to do is bring up these vertices and just add another window object. 
So I'll insert that face and scale it on the z-axis and extrude it way in. I quickly add that window material. For the rest of that object, I'll just take the roof material. Uh, let's look how it, oh, we can see we need to rotate it. So press the period key to zoom in and rotate it on the z-axis 180 degrees. Make sure to apply the rotation. Now we can see that it's looking all right. Now I want to increase that details density and choose it to see that I like. Yeah, probably going to take this one. And then you can see there are some not so modern things on there. So we are going to just delete a few of them. Delete that rooftop door thing and also the air vents, the antennas and also um, all the chimneys except the rotating chimney. Now we can again search for a seat that we like. Maybe I'll take this one and then we are going to change the material of this glass window thing. It already has our window material but we need to change that gray material to our wall material. You can play around with the materials of the rooftop details. For this tutorial I just leave it like this. By the way, these signs on the bottom, you can keep them, but you see that they are interfering with some of the geometry and I'm just going to delete them. Next thing is we are going to delete all the ground floor walls and replace them with another duplicate of the white wall. Make sure to put it in the ground floor walls collection. Tap into edit mode, add a loop cut in the middle, double tap I to insert the faces Move them to the middle a bit, that's okay, and extrude them inwards a bit to add more detail. That's all right. Then add the window material, but this time uh, we'll click on that little copy icon here, and now it's a separate material, and we'll change it to darker blue. Oh, well, certainly not that blue. <laughs> Let's drop the saturation a bit. That looks nice. And for the last step of this tutorial, let's get rid of these ground floor pillars. We will replace them with yet another cube. Position it so that it has roughly the same dimensions as the original pillar. Ctrl I to invert the selection and delete the original pillar. And we are going to rotate this 45 degrees on the Z axis. The next thing I'd like to do is add a few loop cuts, but this time vertical ones. Press C for the selection brush and select all of them. Press I to inset and extrude them inwards. Like that should be fine. Let's assign the blue glow material for these faces and the white wall material for the rest. Looking all right. The cool thing is that you now can change the seats to your liking and in edit mode scale up that plane to make a huge building. We need to increase the view distance and you can even make a giant pizza building. Oh, what a lovely pizza building. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you in future videos. Bye.